Hello good people, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, karibu sana. So leo tuko event ya Daddy Owen, tuko na ea hapa, inaitua Malaika Tribute Award. Hi Daddy Owen. Hi, niko salama kabisa. Niko salama. Congratulations. Thank you. We had fun. You had fun, yeah? Yeah, we had fun. You enjoyed, yeah? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good. Tume relax, tume chill, na everything went well. Sa, ebu tuambie, why Malaika Tribute? Malaika Tribute Awards is uh, an award ceremony whereby we pay we pay homage and tribute to person living with disability as many know my story i'm very passionate about person living with disability and uh, i've been doing this for so many years and uh, for me it's uh, i always say if you're a celebrity or a public figure you must give back to society and because god has blessed you now it's a chance for you to bless others so for me this is my cause whereby i bless or i give back to the society so to me on so many people when wako okay this organization was meant for people with disability right uli kamaje na your idea the idea came when i lost one of my eye and that's when i discovered that uh, even if you lost one of your eye it means you are counted as a person with disability in this country or all over the world so but for me i was like i don't feel different i don't feel like uh, i'm disabled in any way I just felt like as much as I've lost all my eye, I'm still capable of doing so many things. And through that, I, I, I felt like as much as I'm a musician, I need to motivate others and tell them, at the end of the day, you might lose a limb, you might lose something, but it doesn't take away what God has put in you. And you can still nurture your talent no matter how you are and no matter how you look like. So for me, I, I, I kept moving and I kept going because I knew at the end of the day, as long as I don't have one eye, but I, I'm capable of doing so many things, let me just embrace who I am and do more. And from there, I was like, if I can do it, why can't other people do it? And at the end of the day, it's more of as uh, I, I felt motivated uh, through support that I got from other people, I was like, even for me, I need to motivate other people for them to achieve their dreams. By the way, I have your story, Leo, and I have felt, I feel. So, uh, where were you raised? I was in Kakamega. I was in Kakamega. I was in Kakamega. But I came to Nairobi after high school. And I was born and bred in Nseo Shago. But I was in Nairobi and here I am. Nairobi what? Nairobi Umo too. Umo. I was in Nseo Umo. I was in Umo. I started my life in Umoja, Umoja 2. Then I moved to Umoja 1. I was in Umoja 1. I moved to Buru. I was in Buru and I was in Kenya. Iria zingin. Aku tak ikut sama. Nika toka, nika toka Islam. Lagi baru mi orang punya Islam. Islam tu. Bebo mesti mi akil aku tu shago. Nanti mi mesti mi shago. High school I went to Chebusi High School. Primary I went to Eshisiro Primary. So mi ni mi tu shago. Lagi ni mi kujane Robi eventually. And God has blessed me to become who I am today. Wow. So after we lo organize event, seme i uli sama 2012, right? I never thought that one day it would become this big because I remember even when it started, it looked very small. But eventually, numbers have been growing. Even even uh, 2019, the numbers were bigger than this. But today is because of COVID. We are like, uh, we know COVID protocols and all that. Let's reduce on the numbers. But I always do something very intimate for at least after event i can talk to to all of you guys ama all of us because at least i know each and every one faces so ina kwa rais nikifanya na wase kiasi sipendi kufanya kitu kubwa just because of publicity and all that but something small but very intimate yeah. so thank you so much for taking your time na ku to invite you came here invited actually god bless everyone here is invited ayo people this daddy on once again nataka manze when pale o click subscribe wapi on the chemi channel <laughs> thank you so <laughs>